Good morning, everybody. It's November 11th. Got some quick hit announcements for you. Four quick things. One, I don't usually use this medium to celebrate interscholastic athletics. There's enough of that out there. The free press, the news. There's definitely a lot of coverage for uh, interscholastic athletics. So this really isn't an announcement about our state championship boys soccer team. Except it is a statement about our boys state championship soccer team. And that's this. Listen to this quote from my man Hamad Ali. This year was different. Everybody underestimated us. We built a team. We are brothers. We are a family. We supported each other on the field, off the field. And this is the, this is the most important. Whenever someone made a mistake, we always picked them up. I mean, people. This is why we have sports at school in America. So great job to those. And listen, fun fact. Do some research. Find out how many of those boys on the Division I state championship soccer team played JV even as late as their junior year. Did they Were they disappointed that they weren't on varsity? Probably. Did they walk away? No. They stuck with it. They stuck together. They came together. They created that culture. Coach Adolph, amazing coach. Thank you, Kelly, his staff. Thanks to the JV coaches, part of this whole thing. Anyway, whatever. Enough about sports. Proud of that team. I'm proud of that culture. Thank you, Mr. Jabor, for being our leader in that area. Two, Veterans Day. That's today. Celebrating veterans here at South Burlington High School. Um, we had an important announcement this morning relative to that. Um, veterans Day is always celebrated on the 11th in our country and our nation. If you have a veteran in your life, grandparent, parent, friend, relative, neighbor, today's a good day to thank a veteran. All who served it are considered veterans, unlike Memorial Day, where that's most that's uh, a focus on people who were killed in action. Veterans Day is for all veterans to honor their service. South Burlington High School staff members and important community members to our school who are veterans include special ed teacher Greg Anglican, who was in the Air Force, art teacher Christina Balduke, who was in the United States Marine Corps, Mr. Kessler, math teacher extraordinaire, served in the U.S. Navy, Mr. Marabella. Everybody knows Mr. Marabella. Did you know he was in the Air Force? Mr. Sankowski was in the Navy. And Dr. Travia Childs, who's chair of our school board, also served in the U.S. Navy. So thank you to them, and thank you to all veterans in our community. Number three, fall conferences. The week of Thanksgiving, the Monday and Tuesday, we have fall conferences. This message is for students. We would love to see you at your conferences. It's about you after all. So join your caring adults, join your parents, join your guardians. Come on in, sit shoulder to shoulder, meet with a teacher. Uh, let's figure out ways that we can, if it's working, keep it going. If it's not working, let's see what kind of support we can put in place for you. Fall conferences, register for those online. Um, last thing, um, if you had it all, like if you had it all, what life would lead you to be satisfied? And if you think about it, like there's this billion dollar Powerball thing happen. If you had all of the gold in the world, would it be enough to make you whole? Would it? Think about that. Let me tell you what does. Activity block. Engaging with community. Get in here. Have some fun on Fridays. We have another activity block next Friday. Today's was great. Lots of activities all over the school. If you have been someone who has not been coming to Activity Block, join us. If you are a parent watching this, please help us encourage your students to get here for Activity Block. We have so many activities happening, and some of them are just drop-in. Some of them are commitments over time, but there's always something for everyone on Activity Block Fridays. Our next Activity Block Friday is November 18th. That's it for you people. That's four things in five minutes. Peace.